Hello everyone. Today, me, Muhammad Faisal bin Muhammad Yusuf and also my friend, Kero Ikwan bin Rosti, will explain to you about the IO implementation. This is our first assignment for this subject, which is Microelectronics under Dr. Sharma. We will explain to you about the IO implementation process through Scratch. So first of all, let me introduce you about the IO implementation. What is ion implantation? Ion implantation is a low temperature process by which ions of one element are accelerated into a solid target to change the physical, chemical, or electronic properties. It is also consists of ion source where ions of the desired element are produced and accelerator where the ions are electrostatically accelerated to a high energy and also a target chamber where the ions impinge on a target which is material to be implanted. Ion implantation is one of the fundamental process where it is to make microchips in industry. There are three main process of ion implantation. The first one is ion source, the second one ion, ion accelerator and the third one is target chamber. Ion source where ions of the desired element are produced. It can be gas or sputtered solid. For example, arsine, arsenic pentafluoride, phosphine, diborane, boron trifluoride, and many more. It apply in high current to create plasma. The next one is ion accelerator, where the ions are electros electrostatically accelerated into the target. For example, duoplasmatron and radio frequency RF ion source accelerator and it apply uh, kinetic energy formula which is QV is equal to half MV square. Target chamber is where the ions impinge on the target material to be implanted. Silicon wafer will be given electric current one by one to attract the shooting ion. Okay, before Kero Ikuan will take a part in Scratch Animation, I will explain you a bit about the ion implantation process. So, these are the process. For the first one, the wafers are placed in target chamber in the ion implanter, which is here. Ion source will generate the positive ions. The magnet, the magnet will pull all the ions to make them move in one direction. Here, ion accelerator will take part to accelerate all the ions by giving them high energy for shooting into the wafer surfaces. The next one, magnet lenses will precise the target for ion shooting to make sure they will hit wafer surface accurately. And all the ions will penetrate the silicon surfaces and change its property. And then, ion implantation is done and ready for the next process. So, let's move to the scratch animation. All right, thank you Faisal for the briefing and explanation about the ion implantation. So, we have heard about the objectives, and the aim of the ion implantation. So, to make it more clear, we have prepared a special simulation uh, with scratch to visualize more clear about this process to make you all understand it perfectly so i'm cairo i'm going to conduct this part and let's discover it together <coughs> so first of all this is a front page of our scratch simulation first of all we have to click this flag button to initiate the sound okay then single 
crystal substrate to change the properties the default properties all right so let's continue we click the yellow arrow hello good to all see right. you let's learn about ion implantation are you ready so here we are ready but before we go it is actually a journey of a sprite that we call kai from Put the wafer inside. All right, this is our sprite Kai. So first of all, we have to put the wafer in ion implanter here. So we click the wafer, and then we click at ion implanter. So this, yeah, the wafer will be processed in this ion implanter so let's go to the next process let's it, go it, inside ion implanter the guy so he will go inside let's generate ion ions so the ion implantation actually is starting with generation of ion so we have to click at ion source to generate ions so this is the ions we put the ball to represent it and then we go to the next step let's make the magnet pulse the ion so the ion that have been generated will be pulled by the magnet to make them flow in one direction so first we have to click at the magnet then the ions one so the ions we attracted will be attracted to the magnet and low going in one direction so the next step so we're going to accelerate these ions the acceleration of the ions so the when the ion flow in one direction is actually in slow velocity and the accelerator will bombard these ions with high energy to be shooted onto the wafer so we have to click at the weight ions so here we can see the ions is moving uh, moving past faster than before so ions here. will penetrate the wafer surface all right so the ions will be shooted onto the wafer surface and slowly will go through inside the wafer if we not put the accelerator the, the ions cannot penetrate the wafer surface because it is in slow velocity at the first so this is the last step of ion implantation uh, in our simulation so let's finalize it and this is the last journey for Kai in this factory yeah we are done so our wafer is ready yeah. for next process see you again bye bye kai so thank you for the code that we use in our scratch simulation basically we select code from motion looks sound events control 
and some additional text to speech section to make our sprite kit alive uh, basically to make the sprite moving and gliding from one section uh, one position to another we use the motion code for the background change we use the events code and for the voice we put it into text to speech code and here we can see some sprite have all of the basic section of code some didn't have it all so that's it our code for the scratch simulation before we will end our presentation about the iron implementation process I will share with you a bit about advantages and disadvantages of IA implementation. So for the advantage, it extremely accurate those control, tailor made and well controlled the pin profile, large range of losses, low temperature process, wide choice of masking materials, clean environment, and non equilibrium process. So for the disadvantage, it highly sophisticated and costly damage to semiconductor, the open redistribution during annealing, charging of insulating layers, and photoresist heating and hard to strip. So that's all from us. Thank you.